Okay, so today we're going to take a trip into Predictionville and see if we can't get a better idea about when Hellbent Games might release VHS into Early Access. I have no inside information and this is all based on guesswork, so just enjoy the ride. Space Coconut while the media preview was happening, there was a period of one week where they shut down the servers for maintenance and went into radio silence about what was happening. Then the closed beta hit. After that, everyone knows how hard the servers were hit and how things worked for the next few days. So learning from that experience, here's what I'm thinking. They might choose to flip the switch at the beginning of the week so they can work through any issues that might arise before the weekend hits where they may see the most players trying their game for the first time. That first impression is very important, so the game needs to run as flawlessly as possible. During the weekend, if more people are trying and failing to play, it might lead to an overall negative experience. So having less people play during the week kind of makes more sense to me. The alternative is to do it the same way as the closed beta release, open late in the week and spend the weekend fixing the things that break. Next is a statement from Kyle. He said, I can promise we aren't going to head into early access while the studio is on shutdown for the holidays. So I think it's safe to say that we can enjoy the holidays and the new year without worrying about missing day one of VHS early access. He also said this, that early access will also mark the start of us adding new content into the game. So once early access hits, we'll probably see a new teen, a new monster, and a new map. Taking this into consideration, we can use the implementation of the store in the beta as a metric for when early access will begin, since that's how players will be able to purchase the new content in the first place. I think many people will buy this new content day one, since everyone has seen the content that exists now, and new players will most likely want to try the new teen and the new monster first. Players in the beta will have a bit of a head start in regards to Flux though. Martin said, username stay along with friends you add. Any stuff you get in the store will be wiped out. However, all Flux you had spent will be given back so you can buy stuff again. The store needs to work flawlessly in any case. For the past few weeks, the devs have been working on store stuff, so it lends credence to this thought train. Also, Martin did say, we're working on this now. When you add a money system to the game, there are lots of things you need to make sure are fully working before you open it up to people. Our goal is to get this set up and running soon. It looks like the store will be tested in the beta since it was mentioned that any fan books purchased and spent will be refunded to your account since everything in the beta will be wiped before early access. So with all of that pointed out, let's put it together. The devs are working on server stuff to make sure it doesn't explode again when they let everyone play in early access. At the same time, they're working on the store to make sure it's running the way it should and has a few adjustments made in response to feedback they've gotten so far. So before early access hits, we will see the store become active in the beta. So far, they've been testing things for about a month, and when I gained access to the media preview, it was when they released a new build which everyone played on for about two months before the closed beta began. If they follow the same testing pattern, we're going to go through another month of testing without the store, which still falls in line with the no holiday early access statement they made before. The store will probably be launched in January for testing, and if that doesn't have a meltdown, early access will probably be opened up within a month after testing. This leads me to guess that February will be when we see early access launched for everyone. If it happens earlier than that, then I'd lean towards the second half of January. This is, of course, just a guess based on things they've said, and it could be further out than that. There's a big patch being tested that looks at a bunch of things, voice chat being a big one. I'm not exactly sure what's happening, but the communication error pops up pretty regularly, so it probably has something to do with that. The patch is coming because the people in the beta right now are reporting more issues and it's taking more time to fix. I figure that when the store comes out, or is about to come out, we'll see another wave of keys go out so they can expand the testing that happens and the issues that can be found. After that, it's just a matter of time. Watching VHS so closely like this has made me really appreciate the work that goes into this stuff even more. I have no idea what will happen or when, but hopefully everyone gets to jump in soon. But until then, I'll keep working myself. Maybe I'll have my own special announcement in February. Who knows? But YouTube hates VHS and has been unsubbing people automatically. 
or Dead by Daylight people who hate BHS are unsubbing from the channel. Either way, if you want to help me out, hit the sub and the bell to catch future videos, and in the comments below, let me know what you'd like to see next. I'd really appreciate it. Until next time, I'm Space Coconut, and you're welcome.